category tops my name is Priscilla Senelani you may simply call me Miss Priscilla and in this video I'm coming to you once again to help you prepare for your paper 2 examination for accounting so if you are writing accounting paper 2 especially those of you who are rewriting on the 4th of June this is the video for you now in this video we are going to go through the last minute touch-ups meaning the things that you should be looking at to make sure that you are fully prepared for your upcoming examination. So we are going to look at what exactly should you pay special attention to. So this video will serve you as a guidance of what you should study and what you should prioritize studying especially now that you are left with only a couple of days to go. The good news is I now offer once off live virtual classes to help you with your last minute preparations for your exam papers. The timetable you are looking at shows you the upcoming virtual class date so that you can book for your papers accordingly. Booking your session is very simple and affordable. All you have to do is send me an email on the email address you are seeing on the screen and on the subject line write exam prep. By now you are already familiar with your scope for your paper 2 because you would have seen it right on this channel we have already covered that. So what we are going to do next is we are going to go through every single one of those topics and we are going to outline what is it that you are supposed to prioritize under those set topics. As far as how to answer those topics to maximize the amount of marks that you can get for those topics, that is what we are going to cover in our visual classes that we mentioned before. So on the third, we will be having that virtual class. As a prediction and a personal recommendation, I would advise you to focus on debtors reconciliation as well as creditors reconciliation when it comes to reconciliation. The reason being is I believe there was a period where the examiner was too much focused on the bank reconciliation to a point where now it seemed in the previous years and I don't think that um, they are done with this yet they are more focused on the debtors and the creditors reconciliation. So I would focus most of my energy on a debtors reconciliation only because that's what they were heavy on in the previous year. And if you are upgrading or rewriting, this is a topic that you are most likely going to receive debtors reconciliation, but they may mix it up and make it a creditors reconciliation. So I would focus on those two most. In inventories, we have two different inventory systems. The first one is the perpetual inventory system. The second one is the periodic inventory system. For your examination, I would not worry about the perpetual inventory system. I would focus only on the periodic inventory system. With the periodic inventory system, you should be able to calculate your closing stock using both the FIFO method as well as the weighted average method and also be able to calculate the stock that is missing or the stolen stock using both of those methods first in first out and the weighted average uh, method the weighted average method will also require you to be able to calculate the weighted average price so make sure that you get comfortable with that and also when it comes to the theory questions of these two be able to give suggestions about the stolen stock Manufacturing, also known as cost accounting, what you need to be comfortable with is the calculation of direct material and the calculation of direct labor. If you can calculate direct material, direct labor, as well as your factory overhead. By the way, factory overheads, if you didn't know what goes into factory overheads, it's the indirect material and the indirect labor. So that is the labor that is not related to the production and the materials that are not necessarily used in the production of the good itself that we are selling so usually like your packaging materials and your labor includes your labor of like the security guard or the truck drivers those are the what we call the indirect and indirect materials that will make up factory overheads
If you can calculate those three items, then you will be able to complete a production cost statement. So in preparation for your paper two, all you need to do for your production cost statement is to know the framework of the uh, production cost statement. Because if you already know how to calculate direct material, then you will know where it goes in the production cost statement. And if you can calculate direct labor, you will just have to transfer that amount to its correct place in the production cost statement. Uh, statement as the same thing will apply to your factory overhead if you already have calculated it and you know how to calculate it the only thing that's left is for you to transfer it to its correct place in the production cost statement so i would prioritize uh, just knowing the framework of the production cost statement and then the last thing that i will focus on studying would be the break even point is how to calculate it and everything that goes into the formula of the break-even point. In the scope of paper two, I don't think we mentioned value added tax, but that is not to say that it will not be in your paper two. I think the only reason we didn't mention it is because it is not a standalone topic, meaning that it is a topic that is mixed with other topics. So as far as VAT is concerned, what you need to learn about VAT is the VAT fractions. So can you calculate the price when it is inclusive of VAT and when it is exclusive of VAT? And what you need to also be able to calculate is the total amount that is payable to SARS or that is receivable from SARS as a refund. Otherwise, VAT will be an integrated question. Most likely, it will be integrated with inventories or it will be integrated with the topic of reconciliation. Budgeting is one of the main topics in paper two, especially if you are rewriting. For those of you who are doing metric for the first time, meaning that those of you who are still in school uniform and going to school, budgeting is a term three topic. So more than likely, it will not be there in your May June examination. But if you are rewriting or upgrading, you can expect budgeting to be there. And what you need to know for budgeting is you need to be able to do your debtors collection schedule as well as your creditors payment schedule. These two, if you can do them, then it will also help you to be able to fill out your cash budget. When it comes to your cash budget, I think what's most important is you need to know the framework of your cash budget statement. And the two calculations that I in my opinion, the most challenging in the cash budget statement are going to be the total from the debtors and the payment to the creditors. Because to get them, it requires you to have prepared a debtors collection schedule and a creditors payment schedule provided that you were not given those. For theory, you will have to talk about your actual versus your projected and make recommendations based on those amounts. Now, for those of you who will not have budgeting in your paper, it will most likely be replaced with a topic of fixed asset. That is not to say that if you're upgrading, there will not be fixed asset in your paper. The chances of it being there are still very high. So I would be uh, sure to make sure that I cover it. But if you studied well for your paper one, meaning that you were comfortable with your statement of financial position and depreciation in the statement of comprehensive income, then most likely you are able to um, be comfortable with fixed asset because what fixed asset requires is simply the calculation of carrying value, depreciation using both the, the cost method and the carrying value method and also accumulated depreciation and asset disposal, meaning how to calculate disposal at carrying value have youtube recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below